So today I'm going to explain the difference between a C flute and a bass flute. So this is a C flute. It's a regular flute. The most common one you see it in concert bands and orchestras and sometimes in choirs. It is in the key of C concert pitch and there are three main parts, the head joint, the body, and the foot joint. They all connect the head joint to the body and then the foot joint to the other end of the body. And how you play it is your mouth goes on to the lip plate and your bottom lip goes on the lip plate and you play. There is a flute that is an octave higher than the C flute, which is the, <clears throat> the piccolo, which is not as common. You see it in bands, marching bands, and orchestras. So it's an octave higher than the flute, and then Right after the flute is the alto flute, which is not in the key of C, like, like the C flute, piccolo, bass flute, and contrabass flute, and subcontrabass. It's the odd one out. I believe it's in the key of B flat, but I don't know exactly. It's just in a different key, so you have to transpose when playing the alto flute. Anyway, now this big boy is a bass flute. As you can see, it is shiny and has some similarities and some differences from the C flute. Side by side, you can see one is much bigger than the other. The bass flute is quite heavy. You need both hands to actually hold it correctly. As well as balancing. This is the transverse head joint. So this is the head joint part. And then there's a piece that curves and then it attaches to the main body of the instrument. Usually the head joint and the transverse head joint part are connected which makes it easier to slip the transverse head joint in and out. 
The transverse head joint makes it easier to play the bass flute because it would be very awkward to, instead of playing it right here, to be playing it like way out here if you didn't have the head joint, the transverse head joint. The bass flute is an octave lower than the C flute. It has the same parts, same keys, everything. It's just an octave lower, so you can tell. The alto flute and bass flute are used a lot in flute choirs as well as some orchestras, especially some pit orchestra work. You can hear the alto and bass flutes sometimes. I've heard the alto flute played in different pop groups. The bass flute is most commonly played in like horror movies, as you can tell by the sound of it, especially the lower notes, so it has a bit of a more spooky sound. Anyway, let me show you how different it is. <laughs> It is also very quiet, so you need quite a few of these to be able to match the volume of the C flute. The bass flute is written in treble clef, and as I've said, it's an octave lower than the C flute. I enjoy playing the bass flute because of its unique sound. It is very low. I like lower instruments, like the bass flute, the bass clarinet, very saxophone, uh, baritone, tuba, bassoon, the not quite as popular instruments sometimes. It has a very unique sound. And it is written an octave higher than it is played. So, the low C that you hear on both C flute and bass flute are an octave apart. And if you play the middle C on bass flute, it'll actually not be the lowest note. So that is the main parts of playing bass flute. Also, this is a crutch to help you hold the bass flute. You put it into a little hole right here and it helps you balance while you're holding it. And this thumb also helps balance. So you balance it on the crutch and your thumb 
and you put your fingers over the top so you can play the fast passages.